Anything you can't control is teaching you how to let go. You have a goal. You have a desired outcome. You're doing your best to achieve it. You're clinging on so tightly to the expectation of succeeding. You're having sleepless nights over this. You're overly dependent on this one specific outcome. And your energy, it's dissipating because you're always thinking about it. It's overwhelming your life and dominating your thoughts. You're restless. You're anxious. You're unable to focus on anything else. What do you think you can do? How do you detach from expectations that are becoming hazardous to your well-being? Let me help you. Firstly, reward yourself for your effort, even before you know the outcome. You've put in so much work. You've spent so much time. You don't need to know the outcome so that you can reward yourself. You deserve to be acknowledged and encouraged. Instead of expecting recognition from others, give it to yourself. You've got to know that you're worthy of your desires. You've got to value yourself by respecting yourself first. Remember, loving yourself is unconditional, regardless of the outcome. Two, have a few different interests. Perhaps you love photography. When you're not in the mood to go outdoors, perhaps you could catch up on that favorite novel of yours. You may love feeding animals because it makes you feel more connected to yourself. It fulfills you. In addition to your daily routine, make it a point to immerse yourself in these activities regularly, once a week or maybe a few times a month. You'll feel great about yourself because you're nourishing your soul you'll know that you are fulfilled by several activities, not just one. You will have a healthy balance in your life, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You'll feel that you've spent your time well. Most importantly, your mind will no longer be focused on that one specific outcome that you've worked so hard for. If your entire life revolves around one specific outcome, you risk needing it. You risk becoming needy. You risk distorting a healthy desire into an obsession. You will over-identify yourself with your goal. Why? Why let that happen? You've got to understand that you are not your desires, nor are you defined by them. You are much, much more than your desires. Lastly, Invest in yourself for your future. Imagine what you'd like your future to be, at least in the short run, if you can't do it in the long run. Have a clear picture of the skills you'd like to master. Invest in learning those skills. Invest in yourself. Get busy mastering them. This is personal development. You'll feel good about being responsible, about taking charge. You'll be filled with hope and positive energy. 
you will feel motivated. Your dependence on that one specific goal, the one you've worked so hard for, will decrease, and it will decrease significantly. Why? Because you're moving forward in life in so many different ways. Though you may still have expectations of that specific outcome, you'll become more and more detached from such expectations with every passing day. Your time will be taken up by everything that's working out great for you. Your energy is directed towards investing in yourself. Isn't this your best investment? Above all, especially after you've done your best, trust the universe to present to you your desired outcome or something better in the best possible way. And you will not be disappointed, I assure you. Remember, the art of letting go it's a lifelong process. The more you practice it, the better you become. For every outcome that you somehow become attached to, practice letting go. After all, we are human. Allow yourself to make mistakes. We become better with every mistake every attempt that doesn't succeed. Be patient with yourself and persevere. Never give up. At the end of your journey, you'll be grateful and glad that you chose to do your best. There's a common misconception and I'd like to clear it. I'd like to remind you that by letting go, you're letting the universe work its magic for you. Don't mistake it for giving up.